soothing sound. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Art BOP Show. And uh, on this episode, we have local author and uh, member of Taranga Writers as well. Uh, that's how I've come to know. Mr. Gun Condor, welcome. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, like, uh, let's just jump right into it. Um, tell us about your journey and how it led you into writing, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I suppose I've always had an interest in writing. Yeah. I, um, I used to do reports for the local papers on, on teams that I coach, you know, sports teams, kids, soccer, basketball, sailing, you know, right. and, and I, just, I just write the report. And um, so I've always, you know, enjoyed the writing aspect. And then when I got more serious about it, I um, it was, it was when about five years ago I um, decided to write a book about the peak last yacht, which has been around for over 90 years now. Right. And... Um, and, and what led me to, to, to decide on writing a book about the peak class was because I'm, sailing is my is my main interest. Right. And especially having my own kids go through sailing and sailing a peak class, I thought I'd try and find out some more about the peak class, and I think there's no book dedicated to it. So I thought, well, this could be a good project for me. Right. Um I'll undertake to um, yeah. write a, a history of it because it's been around for such a long time and it's been, it played such an important part in, in, in many family lives and our, our, our sailing community. Right. And so for just for those of us who may not be inclined to sailing or that genre, exactly um, um, like what is the nature of the, the P-class yacht? as opposed to other okay. ones. <laughs> okay, the P-Class is basically a, a training yacht for, for youngsters up to the age of, of 16. Okay. And it's been around since the 19, 1924. Hmm. And, um, and so a lot of kids have, have learned their skills and had lots of fun and generally, for, you know, for 90 years. Yeah. And, and I felt that um, its history needed to be recorded just as a record of it. Yeah. Because... Um, it's so a, it's a, a training yacht. It's a tra basically a training yacht, yeah. Oh what, wow! What, what kids, um, kids, kids do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. So, um, and and there had been no previous literature about the plea, um, about the P class yacht. No, no, nothing. No, you know, chapters in books, right, would, would be dedicated to it, right, or most times just mentioned. Um, if like Russell Coots would, would, would describe in a few pages in his book yeah. um, his experience in the P-Class. Yes. And say to Peter Blake, for example, but mm. nothing was specifically dedicated. You know, no one book was dedicated to its history. Right. So, so um, when you started on the journey of uh, writing the book, yes. um, like... Tell us, like, the pros and cons, the challenges okay. that you okay. faced, man. Okay, well, I, I realize, realized that um, when I started writing it, I need to, d to learn how to write a book. Mm. I mean, um, writing it as a, as a series of reports like I would for the paper wasn't really, I didn't feel good enough. Mm. So um, I discovered, just through the internet, a group called Taranga Writers, and um, I remember this night distinctly. Um, I phoned up the, the number, which happened to be Jenny Argantes, and I said, "You know, I'm thinking about writing a book, and I'm wondering if Taranga Writers would be the sort of group that I need to join." Yeah, she said, "Most definitely. We're having a meeting tonight, seven o'clock. Come oh, along." Yeah. And I did that night, and I took my thirty dollars and paid <laughs> on the spot. Yeah, and um, and that. As a resource and as a group, that's um, just the best thing, you know. It just it just gave me lots of um, encouragement, and and the resources that are available through Taronga Writers point you in the right direction, or or courses that are coming up to help you. It's just yeah, yeah. Just, and so um, and you know also uh, 
I guess you came into it with like, um, uh, I, I guess with on a different path as in you wanted to write this one specific book, Yes. you know, as, as opposed to like myself or other members who are, you know, like writing short stories and narratives here and there. Yeah. And if things get published, they get published, but you yeah. had the intention of writing this one book. Yes. Um, it. and so like, how did that process go of, 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 of learning to write a book? Cause that's, that's, um, uh, not an easy task, you know. Oh, oh no, I, 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 I think I must have wrote the first chapter about at least three times. Yeah. Before I was happy with with the way it was going. Yeah. And and in the, in all in the meantime, I was I was attending courses on writing. I I, um, I did a poetry course via email. Mm. Just just to learn about like other forms of writing, writing as well. and and because I know writing poetry helps you writing writing prose. You yeah. Know? So yeah, I, I just undertook, you know, I just sucked in whatever I could to mm. um, to make myself a better writer. Wow. And uh, I mean, uh, the process was long, and and, and I got distracted easily, yes. and I didn't do anything on it for months at a time sometimes. Right. But um, eventually. I got yeah. it done after after five years, almost five years. Wow, wow, man, yeah. that's that's impressive. And the book, by the way, if you just want to show people the sure the that so that's four two hundred and sixty pages. I wow, think. and it's called yeah. Our Secret Weapon. Our Secret Weapon, a history and short and um and stories about New Zealand's iconic P class yacht. I did a, I got a woman, um, Rebecca Hater, who's the editor of Boating New Zealand, did a review on it, and oh, yeah. she um, she lambasted me for using two things in the title, like an, a, um, a, a our secret weapon, which is a cliche, yeah, and using the word iconic because <laughs> right. that's overused. <laughs> but I mean, I thought about that before I actually put the title, but I got the title from. One of the one of the parents who was involved heavily in P class, who, who said in a quote, um, "The P class is our secret weapon, yeah. and that's why we produce such good sailors." So I thought that would be a good title, and um, and it is iconic. You know, there's no other word for it. It's not. Yeah, that's what it is. So, <laughs> and I'm and I'm happy with that. You know, it, it, so be it. If it's a cliche and it's uh, an overused word, but I'm happy with that. Right, yeah. and so. Um, like once you finish the book or like the first uh manuscript yes. um how did you find the editing process cuz that's always like another oh, yeah. another beast oh, no, i know <laughs> i i i started off with um an editor angie Reedy, who who helped me um with with the, with the you know the, the the technical parts of it yeah. uh, at times, and and then I found that it wasn't working out, and I got stuck. You know, I wasn't happy with it, and I was stuck. And so I went to um, a woman. I, I became, you know, I, I got to know um, through the um, through some courses, Tina Shaw. Yeah, and and she I asked her about could she coach me, and through the editing. Mm. Which she was happy to do, so um, I'd, I'd send her off a chapter. Yeah. She she came back with all the comments. Yeah. And and from that I learned how to 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 to, to improve it, make it make it um, right, make it more readable, more enjoyable. Because really, it's it's it's, it's not very exciting if it's just written. As a, as a series of dates and things that yeah, happened, and, so and facts, and facts, and um, and I'd gathered lots of stories from people who would who would sail P, P class as kids. Yeah, um, some of them very well known. I got Dean Barker's story, for example, Joe Alle, who are current Peter Burling. Yeah, I got their stories in their P class, and they are wonderful stories. So, I, in order to make them more novel like, I, I just I was I got I just you know endeavoured to to do it as a, in a creative 
um, yeah. non-fiction style. That was what I was aiming at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Creative non-fiction. Because like, that must have been an, an awesome experience as well, gathering all those stories from oh, people. Oh, Tell yeah, us I more think, about that. Okay, well, it, it's, it started off um, with Jenny Arganti. She has, has a, a list of all the email addresses for every editor of all the local community newspapers in New Zealand. Mm. And so I wrote a letter to the editor pointing out, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm undertaking to write a, a history on the P-class yacht. Yeah. And uh, if any of any readers has got experience or a story, please forward it to me. So that went into every paper in New Zealand, every community yeah. paper in New Zealand. And from that, I got um, lots of stories Wow. S- some were handwritten mm. by eight, 80 year olds, well, people wow. in their 80s, um, typed out on old typewriters as well as emails. <laughs> I, I really got it. And, and some, Wicked. some really good stories. And, and, the, the, so, um, and then I, I, people I met just by going around regattas and that yeah. I met, um, I'd ask them, yeah. you know, could I interview them? And so I interviewed people like um, Ray Barker, who's, who's Dean Barker's father, mm. um, Ray Davies, and they, who were prominent in, in Team New Zealand, his and his father. Yeah. Uh, and he was, it was Phil Davies who gave me the title. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. he he he, um, he gave me the quote. Um, Stu Bannatyne, who's a, a well-respected international. Around the world, sailor. Mm. Um, wow, <laughs> uh, you know, and, cool. and all these, and all these, all these just yeah. wonderful stories yeah. of their experiences. And so, I guess it must have been um, a task because I presume not all the stories made it into the book. Like, yeah, no, I, 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 I felt that the, the people that had gone to the effort, yeah, like to type out on an old yeah. typewriter. I really had to. To honour that, yeah, know. yeah, of course. And so I, I included it, um, cut it down sometimes, but I did, I did include them because they, they oh, were valid yeah. stories, and they, were, yeah. they weren't that, they weren't uh, they're unknown people, and you know how, you know, had their bungs pulled out yeah. so they wouldn't win a race and this sort of thing. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, I did. But this, yeah, and there were some interviews that I just didn't get around to to, to doing, and other stories that right. I couldn't do. Mm. Oh, wicked! Um, and so, like, once you uh, uh, went through the editing process and all that, like after five years, yeah. Um, how did it feel to have the book finally oh, ready? It was a, a, it, a huge it, relief for a start. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's self it's self published. I did try. Um, I sent, sent it off to several publishers mm. who... Because um, it's a specialised genre of yes, like, it is, and, and it, it racing is, and... It is. Um, you know, and so they didn't think it's commercially viable, right. so I, I thought, well, I'm just... Basically, I, I wrote it as a record of the P-Class, right. so in the future, anybody wants to know, it's a, it's a record, and that's what I did it for. Right. And if anybody got um, any pleasure from reading it in, in the... And, and, and the feedback I've got has has been yeah. really really good. Although I've, I've, I've probably given away and sold two hundred, which is, is not a great amount, but um, that's still lots. Well, you know, maybe, for like a specialized, yes, perhaps, like little you thing. Know, but yeah, so I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. It's a great relief, and, and and I'm quite um. I suppose I'm I'm quite proud of having achieved. It's an achievement for me. You know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Got, like got there. <laughs> yeah, because like. Um, it's as you uh, experience. It's a long process, eh? Oh and, yeah, that's and, it's hard work. Yeah, it? but it's it's good that you ha- like you know came in with the intention of this is the book that I want to write. Yes, yeah. and like you know, like while I guess narrative writers or like I've had that experience where you start working on a story yeah. or a long story, and then like you know you get distracted because it can go a million ways and you don't know like you know oh it, it does i mean <laughs> i mean for example this this this, this book x-rated which is about um kids sailing a p-class on taranga harbour yeah i i wrote this 
after I'd started this, it was, this was a, it was a distraction. Oh, I, mean, okay. I, I, I was. <laughs> I mean, um, I, I was out there helping run a regatta mm. for for a, a selection. Yeah. And of, of um, you know, the Bay of Plenty representative. Yeah. And um, and I intended just to write the report up and send it up to the paper. Well, I was, I was taking notes, and 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 so many dramas started to unfold. You know, like two brothers ashore fighting and swearing at each other because one beat the other, you know. And, and then a novice kid capsizing on the start line yeah. and taking out all the other ones and, 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 oh. and, and, and the, the favourite to win it um, sailed the wrong course oh. and, and threw a tantrum, <laughs> oh, you know, wow. and, and all of this stuff. And I thought, wow, this is just too good. So I, <laughs> I thought... This is, you know, I'll, I'll make this into a, a small book, yeah, and that I can give to every kid, yeah, in, in the um, <laughs> in, in the series, yeah. So I mean, it's, I don't know, I, I I spaced it out a bit, big big <laughs> big type and yeah, wide yeah, margins, yeah. <laughs> but I, I wrote it and, and every kid got one, and that was a, you know a distraction, but right. just something that happened on the way. And, 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 and other things, you know, other things other came up. Competitions came up that I entered in for, that I wrote, you know, about um, totally unrelated to to, to sailing. But, right, right. And, and then yeah, yeah, other distractions, you know, like having to paint the house and things like that. Right, right. Getting back into the it. life distractions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But eventually, I really, um, yeah. I, I, you know, the last couple of years, I just put my head down and made yeah. sure I got it done. But yeah, yeah but I, it's, it's, I found it, you know, getting people's stories, interviewing them, or, or, or receiving it in written form. I, I'm, 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 I wanted to make sure that they were happy with what I wrote about it. Right. And. Um, Quite often they weren't, even though it was. Ah, oh, that's interesting. It, even though it was what they'd told me, mm. when they realised it was going to print, they didn't want that to be known. Right. So and so I'd, I'd send it off to them, and they'd say, "Oh no, I don't like. I don't want. You, I don't want you to say that." And no, this is not right. And yeah. And I thought, oh mate. Oh man. <laughs> you know, this this is so that that was really quite stressful. Mm. Just tr trying to. Get the, the 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 proper story, yeah. Um, and I had no axe to grind, but of course but not, they yeah. were just um, didn't want to be seen as a bad person or, or yeah, yeah, or, or like wanted to be seen in a certain light. Yes, which, yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 you know it's um, and it's the story as as the person told me, and another person involved with an incident, say, yeah, um, would see it differently. Yeah. But, so I only wrote it as as I as I got told it basically, and, and made sure <laughs> that was good. But in the end, I, I um, it did I, all. I, 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 everybody was, ha most of them were happy. Most so of them a couple, were happy. a couple, I suppose, weren't that happy. Yeah. But that's the, <laughs> yeah, but that's the. So um, you've written these two books about yachting. Yes. Um, t um, tell us about your experience of you know r writing outside of this. Okay. Subject. Yeah, well, like... I, I knew that I knew that entering in competitions mm. is 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 a good way of of improving your writing. Yeah. And it's 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 motivation because it's I'm a bit I am competitive, so I want to do really yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> and it gave you a deadline. Mm. And it wasn't it wasn't too onerous, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand words maybe. Mm. And um, so when the, when competitions came along, you know, I, I entered I entered them. The first one I did was was a BOP mem um, mem memories oh, competition. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I so it was like memoirish yeah. kind of writing. Yeah, and so I, I wrote I wrote a story about that. But that, that happened to be a local person yeah. who'd sailed a, a P class. Yeah, um, I wrote about that, and then I went along to the to the to the award night for the presentation and uh, and the people that, that were placed, they read their stories. I thought, wow, <laughs> this is where I've got to, to get yeah. to. So the, the next year I wrote, um, I wrote, uh, for the same competition, yeah. I wrote the, um, about, about um, White Island. 
Oh yeah. And um, and about uh, sulphur mining and how the Maori used it, you know, for for food and and and, and, mm. and all that. And uh, I I enjoyed that. Um, I wrote that and that won the, the competition that year. Cool. Um, and then I wrote. I, I was involved in another um, publication, telling of writers' publication called Double Vision. Whereas, yeah, where they put artists with at, a with, writer. Yeah, with writers. Yeah. Eh? So, I wrote how was a, that experience? Oh, that was great. Yeah, I, I I I wrote a story, and the artist made the picture. Yeah, painted from my story. Yeah, and then he painted a picture, another picture. Yeah, it was related. Mm. And I wrote a story about the picture, and I and I and I sort of um, yeah. in, interlinked them so they both were relative to each other. Yeah, and I and cool. I and I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, that yeah, that must have been a cool project, eh? Because it's always fun and and interesting when like different forms of creativity comes together. Yeah, yeah. you know, and um, yeah, that was a really cool project, Jenny. Um, actually wanted to do one like uh next year i think yes but like you know make it 3d okay. so have an artist a writer and a musician or like right. you know yeah. something like yeah. that you know yeah. like do something completely wild but uh yeah oh cool yeah, that so was, that was that was very successful and then um another competition well no i i heard this i was listening to the to an, an inter woman being interviewed on the radio about um, her her um, Down syndrome brother, who mm. had who had inspired her and her husband to start up a charity called Star Jam, which which develops people with 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 handicaps. You're right. Oh, sorry, you know, disabled people. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, and I thought, well, and this 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 guy's story was how he he um he gave her away her away at a wedding, mm. and then he he made a speech at the wedding, and people changed after that speech, which which prompted this woman to yeah to um to start up this charity. And I thought, wow, that's a cool story. So I yeah I got in touch with her and said I'd like to write a story just for the sake of writing because such a good story, you know. I'd yeah. like to write it. Oh wow. And um, she, you know, she said you know, she should look at it, and she was very, very not cagey, but very wary, you know. Yeah. Um, and in the end, I, I, I interviewed her through Skype, and, and I wrote the story, and then I sent it back to her, and she said, "No, I don't want you to say that. I don't want you to say that." And so in the end, we agreed, and and then I, and then the competition came up as the um, the Takahei, um, yeah, well, yeah, cultural. Studies mm. every second year. Yeah, um, competition. So I, 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 I wrote it and sent it away, and and it won. It won that year. Wow. It was first. What really, what I got most out of that, I suppose, was the first draft was in third person, and it just didn't, it didn't mm. grab me, and then. I thought, you know, how, what can I, how can I fix it? And, and I thought, I'll, I'll have a go writing in second person. And every, all the courses you go to and all the experts, and that, they, they say, you know, stay away from writing in second person. Yeah. It's just too difficult, it's too confusing. Very... <laughs> you know, it doesn't, that doesn't work. Stay away yeah. from it. And, but I had a go, and, um, and it worked out well. You know, I, I really... And it uh, won. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, and 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 writing in, in, in second person just a you know good experience. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and you know it's it, like if it works, then it works. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'll just change yeah. change the whole tone and it, it grabbed me. And so. Exactly, and there are no kind of rules if it works, you know. Yeah. Um, and and I guess the other experience is that like you 
uh, like, you know, the fate of the creative burst where you kind of yeah. heard this woman on the radio yeah. and like thought it was a cool story and you just wrote it for the sake yeah. of writing it, you know? Yeah, well, it, 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 <laughs> I suppose since I've been involved in, in, in writing, doing writing again, mm. the Taranga writers, you develop a sort of an antenna for a story. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> you, you, you pick things up, wow, that's, 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 that's yeah. really a good story. You start thinking like a writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose. And um, <laughs> I mean, everything I've written has always been non-fiction. Mm. I, 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 I think there's so many, there's so many good non-fiction stories. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I don't know whether I'm imaginative enough to write a, a story that's out of my head. Right. So, speak. so yeah, so I just take a non-fiction story and but I just try and write it. Like a novel, yeah. So, so to create drama and, and exactly and conflict, and, and all that this. takes like just the same amount of creativity and skill yeah. to do yeah. that, you know. Because yeah. not because again, not not everyone can write cr great creative nonfiction. Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, well, oh, well, that's what it, it took. It took a while. <laughs> I mean, I had it took a, a you know while I was writing our secret weapon. Yeah, I was um. I was I was creating scenes and all sorts, and I sent I mean I sent a sample away to a um, to an assessor. Yeah, I paid, I paid the forty or eighty dollars, what it was, for an assessor, and she came back and she said, you know, the comments were, um, you know, you don't need that, and it should be like this, and, and all this, and I was, I was thinking. She doesn't know what she's talking about. This is this, this is creative non yeah. non fiction that I'm writing here. She's telling me no. And, and I thought, oh, and I was really disappointed. But then having gone through the, the process and, and then going through it with Tina Shaw, hmm. I, 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 you know, it evolved into writing as this assessor suggested yeah. I should. And, it's, <laughs> and I'm happy with it. Yeah. Turned out, it's turned out really well. So <laughs> cool. that's, 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 what, that's yeah. what happens. Oh, wicked. So um, where are these books available for people? Can um, can they buy them online, or is it through special? Um, yes, yeah, yeah. I, 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 they're on on Create Space, which is part of Amazon. Create Space, Amazon, and, and you can buy them through Amazon because yeah, okay. you, you put them up on Create Space, which is the website. Yeah, and then you can buy them from Amazon through yeah. Amazon, and they just print on demand. If they get an order, oh, cool. They'll, they'll print one off and post it to the person. Oh, wicked! You know? So there's a, there's two or three of these ones sold. Yeah, and I've just put our secret weapon up on there. And I don't, I, I don't often look at the website, but I don't think anything's gone through Amazon just yet. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. So if 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 anyone wants to get these uh, two wonderful books on yachting, then uh, Amazon, and I guess they'll just look up um, our secret weapon, like or like yeah. P class yacht, and yeah. it'll show up. Sure, sure. Um, and so um, now. Um, I guess, like you know, uh, after having written this kind of nonfiction, creative nonfiction, uh, the latest I've heard is you're working on a children's story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, some of the stories that I collected, yeah, for the secret weapon, yeah, would make wonderful children's stories. Hmm. And so, um, for for example, one of the one of the the, the um, the guys that send in his story, mm. that they went camping on Motahoa Island in the middle of the of Tonga Harbour, mm. and um, with his mate, and there's an old Maori grave burial ground up the top there somewhere. So they they sit around the campfire at night. They're only fourteen and fifteen year olds, yeah. telling each other ghost stories, yeah. and then they dare each other to go up, <laughs> to go up the, yeah. the burial ground. You see, <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Um, and then uh, you know, they just this is what kids do, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and he said, and then we, we were we were in our tent, and next thing, this this the, 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 this thing stuck its head in the tent, <laughs> and we all screamed, and the thing went ah, and the rake lifted yeah. the tent out, <laughs> and it was one of the the stock on the you know yeah. it was just free roaming around the beach yeah, and I yeah. just stuck it this, this cow stuck its head in the tent <laughs> <laughs> lifted up and it went bellowing down, down the beach with the, with the tent wrapped around its head 
and, and, these, no. and these kids think, oh, it's a ghost from the... <laughs> I mean, so, so that that, that right. story that's what that's what I'm currently working on is yeah. the children's story and and and, um, and other stories how how the bad boys take the bungs out of the girls' boat because they don't want her to win the race and, <laughs> yeah, and all yeah. this this sort of stuff, you know. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So those will be picture books. Yes. Yeah. Well, illustra- illustrated. Yeah. Illustrated. Yeah. Illustrated. Yeah. Stories, illustrated. yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean. I mean, that's another genre I'm just new to, but I'm yeah, I'm enjoying um, yeah. working on that. Yeah, again, like you know, very different from this. Uh, uh, like, yeah, yeah, like but, from but your but previous stuff. So. You know, all, all these good stories. I just want to make convert them into into yeah. children's stories. Oh, cool! And and it's cool because uh, um, you know. There is a, there is always going to be a market for children's stories, yeah, isn't yeah. it? And. Oh, yeah. uh, um, and like through the writers, we have the words and pictures and things like yes. that as well. Yeah, I've joined that group. Great and, resources. Um, and uh, I've been, you know, doing a bit on it. I haven't done much lately. Yeah. I've had other distractions. It's all good. Just... Are we half an hour? Are we? Yeah, it's all good. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah. So, like, Taranga Writers has a has a good um, resource. So you joined Words and Pictures. Yes, I enjoyed that group. Yeah, and 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 how's that been? No, that's been okay, but I haven't been that involved. I mean, I mean, had I had other distractions, mm. um, so I um, and so I've you know I've put some st- stuff in, and Jenny's been very helpful. She and we've done some some cool. work on it, but I need to need to crank it up again. Yeah, you know, just I've just got um, you know. House projects to sort out and boat projects to do and right, right. Uh, that's where I'm at. <laughs> All good. Yeah, well, um, y- well, like that's it's so cool that like you know, um, just your journey into writing, you know, kind of yeah. uh, from writing uh, columns and reports for the paper to creative nonfiction to children's stories yeah. you know oh, yeah. i mean I, I, writing is, is is such a good uh, um hobby because it's creative yeah you know yeah it is you, you know you 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 you're building something you're building a story and you're shaping it and yeah and that's what that's what i get most out of is just just the creative yeah. side of it yeah and yeah. like the process as you, uh, um as you said like you know as you're writing it and as it's as it evolves you know yeah. like Kind of shaping just, it in a certain direction, just, yeah. getting like other people's like insights yeah. and help as well, you know. Yeah. So, oh, oh, that's great, man. So, um, our secret weapon and X rated on Amazon dot com, and um, yeah, thank you very much, Gun. Th- thank you, David. Yeah, thank you very much for the insights, and um, yeah, um, stay tuned for the next episode. We'll. Where we'll have, I don't know who the next one is, but stay tuned. (laughs) Um, All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. Thank you. Thank you.